My name is Brittany Coster, and I am the owner of Azalea Coffee Bar. We are a coffee shop in Columbia, and we serve all products by women. So I started as a coffee truck uh, about six years ago, but I always knew I wanted to open a brick and mortar shop. And when I got into coffee, I learned about how um, women are almost unfairly treated in the coffee industry. Like they do a lot of work on the coffee farms, but don't necessarily have the top leadership roles or aren't owning the land and um, therefore like reaping the benefits of, of having their own farm. And so I decided when I opened a brick and mortar shop that I wanted to focus solely on sourcing coffees from female owned farms. And so um, the name Azalea comes from my hometown of Somerville, South Carolina. And it really reminds me of my mom um, and the women that raised me. I lost my mom to cancer a few years ago and she really, her death really inspired me to start a business and to do something that I'm passionate about. Coffee is the best part of my day. I look forward to it every single morning. And so I knew I wanted to open a business that centered on coffee. And I also wanted to do something that honored her and the other women that raised me. This entire business is just all about uplifting and supporting women. In terms of financing the business, we opened in April 2021, which is kind of in the middle of COVID. So money was weird at that time for businesses. Like there was a lot of COVID relief stuff, but not necessarily like startup money for businesses. Um, and so I had to get a little creative there. Um, so a mix between like personal finances and finding some loans that were around COVID was kind of how I started the business. In terms of the future, I definitely want to grow the business. Um, I'm looking at opening a second location, hopefully within the next year. And um, I want it to be a larger space. Right now, this spot is about 850 square feet, so it's fairly small. And we do a lot of community events, but we have to host everything outside because we don't have the room inside. My goal is to find a larger location where we can host community events. Uh, we do a lot of vendor markets where we bring out different female-owned businesses um, and you know, we have all of our customers come out and support them. Um, I usually do it free of charge because it's all about making those connections. And so I'd love to have a larger location where we can host those vendor markets and um, support those women. Well, I am currently in um, the Minority Business Accelerator with the Columbia Chamber. And so it's really f like forcing me to focus on my growth plan and what that looks like in the next few years. And so in the short term, I'd like to open another location in Columbia. Um, I'm in talks with somebody about something small in Lexington. Um, so we'll see. And But in the long term, I'm thinking about franchising the business and so that it'll grow across the U.S. In terms of advice for small business owners or people who are looking to open a business um, is to find your people, find the people that you can trust who already have a small business and you can ask questions to um, and really lean on them, those experts, because I think that's a lot of the times we make a lot of mistakes when we open a business. I know I did. I didn't know anything about anything. I've learned a lot now. Um, but I really leaned on some other um, women in particular that own businesses and bounce ideas off them. So our brick and mortar shop is on the corner of Woodrow and Divine, 2700 Divine. And if you want more info, we post a lot of our stuff on Instagram. So it's at Azalea Coffee Bar. Um, we also have a website, azaleacoffeebar.com. I think the biggest reason to support Azalea is that when you support us, you're supporting women everywhere. So everything that you find in our shop is built by women. And so your purchase is helping those female farmers. It's helping the women that work here. It's helping all of our suppliers uh, across the supply chain. Um, and your purchase really does matter. Like we really, we value our customers. We remember your name and your order when you come in. And I think there's something really special about that.